Hi. <laughs> I was just sitting here working on a plan for our next project and I realized I'm working on a new project and I haven't even shown the other projects, the ones that we've completed, the ones that we're done with. And shame on me for that, getting so preoccupied with other projects and also other series of videos that we're working on, I just, I haven't shown you. So today, that's gonna change. I'm gonna show you everything that we have going on in our, I just wanna say fish keeping hobby. I can't call it a fish room yet because we've got tanks all over the house. I wanna show you those, show you what we have going on. Some of our fish have grown quite a bit since you've seen them last. And so I wanna go through all of that and then also talk about the changes that are gonna be happening. That project that I'm working on right now is actually moving all of those tanks down here. I'm gonna make a video specifically about that whole process. In fact, it might even be two videos of the whole process of moving those tanks down here. I'm thinking that it might make sense to do an entire video just talking about the plan of how we're gonna execute that transition from the garage to down here. When you're moving four giant tanks like that, okay, you might not call 125s giant, but two of them are medium size maybe, and then two are giants. When you're doing a project like that, it involves a lot of people, it involves a lot of coordination, and I think having a detailed plan in place makes it so much easier. So I'm thinking that's an, a video all by itself, is just that. So that'll probably come out in a couple of weeks. And then of course there will be the video where we are literally moving the tanks down here and all of the rest of my hairs go gray. But anyway, in the meantime, there's a bunch of other things that we've been working on that I wanna show you. Lisa's 10 gallon beta wall, done. It's ready to go, it looks beautiful. I wanna show you that, show you our new setup for our green screen work that we do, which I'm really excited about. and. Uh, take a walk out to the garage and show you what's going on there. And then I think we might actually interrupt this video and take a little trip to go and buy a couple of big tubs for outside, but they're not gonna be used for outside in the very beginning. I think you'll understand what I mean when we get there. But anyway, let's take a look at Lisa's beta wall and then, uh, and then we'll walk around and look at other stuff. I think the best place to start is gonna be Lisa's beta tank wall. I think that's good. We'll start on that end and then we will move our way through the entire house and show you everything else. But yes, you did see me just walk through a baby gate. And that's because we have a new resident down here that you've seen in the live streams. I don't see her right now. I don't know where she is, but we have a cat down here now. So yeah. So here it is, Lisa's beta wall is done. The 75 is down here. I don't know if I've shown that in a video or not, but all of the tanks are up. They are all running and we got the new filtration system in here, which I'm really happy about. It's just sponge filters. We ordered all of these sponge filters from aquariumcoop.com. You knew that because they were green. That's kind of like their thing. They have the green sponge filters. I love it. We also, while we were on their site, we ordered these floating moss balls. We ordered the covered bridges. What are they called? Like the moss bridges or something like that. I love them. Lisa loves them and the fish love them because they swim all through there and stuff and it's really cute. We got a bunch of them in here, but the fish also is something that I wanna talk about. These female betas came from, is it she she's aquatics? I probably should have found that out before. Uh, I know that's, it's she she, but I don't recall exactly what her company is called, but we'll put a link in the description for those. Uh, five of these betas that you're about to see came from her. So yeah, we've got stuff from Aquarium Co-op in here. We've got stuff from she she, and these fish are absolutely Amazing. I love them. I'm a sucker for these because maybe it's because they remind me of peacocks, OB peacocks. I don't know, but I love them. And there's five of them. They're not all the same. I'm going to try to get them all focused in here, but they are just breathtaking. 
they're they're wonderful i love them so we'll take a look at those but while we do that you'll also see again these moss balls there's the covered bridges which you'll see those are from aquarium co-op the sponge filters we bought these folks we're not like sponsored by aquarium co-op but i love that company and i'm gonna promote that company any opportunity i have yes corey's my friend but it doesn't matter well i just you know anyway who cares so the lights that's another thing that we have to talk about actually ordered these off amazon they are how do you say it of course the name is upside down but Higer, Hygar, I don't know how you say it. I don't even, it's the first product I've ever ordered from that brand. Uh, we ordered 12 of them and wah wah, one of them came in not working. <laughs> it is what it is. We'll end up sending that back and, and getting another one. But I think these lights are like, I think they're somewhere around like $30 a piece or maybe late 20s, I don't know. But they're, they seem to be nice. I mean, I like them. It's kind of unfortunate the way we have the wiring set up. We got to go through and turn all the individual tanks on, the lights on, but that's okay. You know, there's worse things in this world. So again, this is another one of the betas from Shishi. Try to get her focused in on. Look at her. She is a showstopper. Another one of those covered bridges. And then, you know, I'm not going to keep showing you sponge filters because they're in all of the tanks. But this one here is one you have seen quite a few times on some 10 Things videos. I love this one so, so much. I've had a lot of fun filming this fish, too, in different lighting conditions and stuff. And just making them, making her look absolutely amazing. She's gorgeous. Love her. Love her. And then there's a male in here. This this one here would be the last one from Shishi. Everything you've seen so far came from Shishi. Thank you so much, Shishi. They are amazing. Again, she didn't send those to us in some kind of promotion. We paid for them, and you know what? We should have. They are gorgeous. So now, this, this one here is a male, by the way. I think Lisa bought him at Petco. So that's not a Shishi beta, but he's a looker. He's a nice looking fish. He just doesn't have a light on his tank. We got the 75 down here. The, this tank is going to be used for a breeding pair of discus. And then when they spawn and when there are fry, they, the fry are going to be left in here and we'll put the discus somewhere else. Now you see a beta in here. This is unfortunate here. Okay, this is a sad story. This beta used to have the whole tank. He used to have the whole tank to himself. But we came across a peacock and I'm looking at them. It's the red top Lawanda, I believe. So what happened is we had this fish in a hospital tank and he got all healed up. We were in an emergency situation because we had another fish in my 240 upstairs that got injured. And so we wanted to put that one in a hospital tank and we didn't know what to do with this one. So we're like, all right, well, even though it's risky to put one fish back into a, an established African cichlid tank by himself, we got to do it anyway because we don't have anywhere else to put them. We put that fish back in the 240 and they imme immediately attacked him. So we had to take him out. So Lisa scrambled, gave him this tank, and then put this poor beta in one of these little carriers. It's unfortunate. But anyway, that beta is going to have a new home here soon. Anyway, with us, we're not giving it away, but uh, I don't know where that's going to be yet. So anyway, moving on, we have... A nice little group of rummy nose tetras. These rummy nose have been in this tank for a while. It's technically a quarantine tank, but they've been in here for like two months. I am a sucker for rummy nose tetras. Anybody that knows me knows that. Uh, these fish are actually going to go with Lisa's discus in her 125. Um, when I'm done showing you these tanks, I'll talk about the 125s and where those are going to go down here, but those are going to go with the discus. Uh, she bought them, put them in quarantine, and then we just decided there's no reason to put them in with the discus now and then have to move them again to bring them down here. So we'll just keep them in here until the discus come down and then we'll put them in there with them. And that's probably going to be where that beta will go is that tank once it's no longer quarantine. This is Bubbles. Try to get him into focus. He lays around. He's very lazy. I don't know if you remember the story behind Bubbles. 
Lisa did a whole video about him. It's one of the most special videos I've ever done on the channel. I'll put a card up in the corner to it. Love that fish. That fish is blind and has a severe, disformed, a severely, uh, what, what am I trying to say? I don't know. The fish is severely deformed. His eyes, you can't really see him because he's facing the other way, but his eyes are like big, giant, you know, bulbous. It's just, it's sad. Um, so Lisa saved him and he's got this whole tank to himself and he loves it. Check out that video because I'm really proud of that video and Lisa did great in it and it's just a beautiful thing. It makes me want to cry. This guy here is another one that I think this one actually started as a female and then it became a male. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, at Petco they label them and they don't really know what they have and it turns out that it is a male. So got to give him his own tank, but he doesn't have any tank mates in there with him as of now. Move down here to the guppies. This, these fish actually, try not to shake the camera too much, used to have that tank all to themselves. Now they've been put down into this 10 gallon tank. You can see there is a whole bunch of fry in there with them. Uh, they're just doing their thing. And there's a pleco in there too that I didn't even know was in there. But uh, yeah, there's a bunch of fry and these may go in that tub that we were just talking about. We'll have to see. This tank down here, there is a beta in here. I gotta find her, find him. Uh, or I think it's a her, I don't know. But there she is. Is it a she or a he? I don't remember. Another very severely deformed fish and Lisa calls this fish Yennefer. Uh, big fans of the Witcher series, and so kind of looks like Yennefer. There's in there, she's in there with some Cory cats, uh, three albinos, and then I, I don't know, it's kind of a hodgepodge of Cory's in there. Not quite sure exactly what she's gonna do with those Cory's. And then over here, what are these? Got some Ember Tetras, some Gobies. I don't know what Lisa's doing with these tanks. She gets all these little fish, I don't even know what they are. See if I can get that one into focus. Little, little fella. Adorable. So that's it for, oh, Bubbles is turned around and he's not gonna run cause he can't see that we're looking at him. Just love Bubbles. And yes, yes, he's named Bubbles after Trailer Park Boys. What do you want from me? So Lisa's 125 with the discus is gonna go right there where that weird round chair is. Uh, gonna go right here, which is gonna just kind of complete the look here. And then the beta sorority, or it might be the other way around, I don't know. But the other 125 is gonna go right there. This ridiculous setup right here was set up for Honey, the cat that's down here, uh, that uh, she wanted to give her like a little wall that she could hide behind so that uh, the dogs wouldn't bother her. And that's what the baby gate's for too. The 240, we've decided, is gonna go right here where Slim Shady currently resides. This is Lisa's glow, not glow beta tank. Uh, Slim Shady has made quite a few appearances in 10 Things videos too. Love this guy, he's gorgeous. And I don't know what, I mean, Slim Shady, we obviously know who that is, but I don't know why she came up with the name Slim Shady for that fish. Here is the very dirty 90 gallon that we got from the Aquatic Experience, full of way too many fish, angels, Danios, Harlequins, all of those. They're all in there and they're all doing their thing. We're not gonna talk about my bobbleheads because people get mad when I do that, but I wanted to show you, we got some new lights for the live stream, one there. And one over there, this is where, if you haven't seen it yet, this is where we broadcast Tank Talk Live. That's where that comes from. And this is my big monstrosity of where I do all of my editing. But anyway, moving around to the goldfish tank. Uh, it's got some algae in it because of its proximity to the door. But uh, still really happy with this tank. It's doing well. And then we get into where the 360 is gonna go right where that treadmill, or should I say, uh, 
dust collecting treadmill. <laughs> That's where the 360 is going to go right there. And then not everybody has seen this, even though I have shown it before. This is our setup where we record 10 things and keep fish keepers fish keeping. Um, just to give you a little inside track on it here. Uh, if you want to know what it looks like, well, you kind of don't, but this is what it looks like for us. The camera would obviously be there. Script would be here, microphone on there, but I'm currently holding those in my hand, so that's why you don't see them there. But then I also will have my computer here that I can control the camera, you know, make adjustments and stuff like that. And then all these lights, uh, they're not currently set up in their appropriate location right now, but all of these lights are used for that as well. So yeah, that's the whole basement. It's time to take a walk upstairs and uh, we'll see what's going on there. something you haven't seen in a while. The garage, I haven't shown this in quite some time, and you can probably see why. It's kind of in disarray. I mean, look at the floor. <laughs> this is what happens when you have cats and you put a cardboard box out here. They have all kinds of fun. Speak of the devil. But this room is, you, it's got extreme echoes right now because I took all of the soundproofing out of it, or not soundproofing, but acoustic panels out of it. Uh, this is just, this is almost like a holding facility for our fish now. These are the tanks that we have to get down into the basement. Uh, the Oscars are just exploding. I know there's a lot of glare in here right now, but they are just getting absolutely huge. They're probably, I don't know, they're at least eight inches or so now. The Severums have also gotten much, much larger. This guy here got his fin, his dorsal fin, kind of jammed up. Not real sure what happened there, but he's healing up nicely, but I don't know who did it. I don't know how it happened. It might have been the other, the other Severum for all I know, but he's healing up. He'll be fine. The arowanas, they gave us a little bit of a scare, and because they're up top, it's going to be hard to get them on video good, but let's see. this make Yeah, this one here we're starting to get a little concerned with. Not his health, but we're starting to wonder if he is causing problems for the other one. Now understand, I call him he, I don't know if these are males or females, but this one here is the prize. He's the one that looks absolutely perfect. I get my hand out of there so it can focus. But I am a big, big fan of that one. But you see how the other one is just following him around? Normally that would be okay, but right now that's making me a little bit nervous because he's been nipping at him. He's been chasing him around. He's been stressing him out. If you know anything about arowanas, sometimes they can be difficult to keep together. And if that keeps happening, if there keeps being issues between the two of those, I'm actually going to end up rehoming that one. Uh, I love the fish and I want to keep both of them, but if things don't turn around, I don't know, might just drop down to one. Uh, but you can see, I don't know if we're going to see anything right now, but there hasn't, you can see there's no scars or anything on this one. So it's perfectly fine. They haven't really been doing any kind of damage, but it just seems like they've been getting stressed out and I don't want that. So. Anyway, we'll have to see what happens there. I'll keep you updated on that for sure. And uh, here's the 240. This 240 is such a mess right now. I gotta get CJ to come out here and do some water changes on these tanks. But this is why you don't put a tank right next to a window. Yep, I'm gonna be using this footage on an episode. What are we, uh, it's an episode of 10 things. Gonna be using that footage coming up soon, but 240 is doing well, the fish are doing well. This is the only fish in the tank that, uh, yep, yeah, there you go. 
need I explain more? <laughs> that fish is kind of a jerk and leads to a lot of problems. Uh, so I don't know, might be another fish that ends up getting rehomed. But this tank, all of these tanks are gonna eventually move down into the basement so you will see more of them. The discus tank is just looking bad right now. I love Lisa, but she would be the first to tell you that it's just not in the best condition right now because it's getting ready to get moved in two weeks. The light is even blinking. We need to turn that off. Uh, we've got a loose wire or something going on in there and I don't want to tap it. Usually if your light's flickering, you can tap it and it'll fix it, but I don't want to do that because it'll totally spook the discus. And the beta tank, the beta sorority with all of the other fish in there is overgrown and it's not looking the greatest. Some of the plants are looking amazing. I mean, look at them. Some of them are absolutely flourishing. But, uh, you know, these tanks, all four of them, have been a little bit neglected because they're out here. We're downstairs. Got some shrimp going on here. Some Imanos back there. I don't know if you can see them. Uh, we've been down in the basement. We've been just going like doing crazy stuff. And unfortunately, these tanks have been neglected. You know, I, I mean, it is what it is. I don't know what else to say. But you know, it would be very easy to see the condition of these tanks and be like, man, John and Lisa, they're, they're really slacking. They're not doing a good job with these tanks. Uh, understand our lives are very chaotic. There's a lot going on right now. And so these tanks, their fish are healthy. The fish are fine, but the tanks don't look the best, uh, which this is why we want to get everything down into the basement. Why is my hand shaking like that? That must be hard to watch. We want to get everything down into the basement so that it's all in one place and we can maintain them all. Uh, and it's a lot easier to do down there. So I've talked about it and it's time to talk about it a little further. We are moving all of these tanks down into the basement on the 27th of June. I don't know when this video is going live. I would hope that it's before the 27th, but that's when we're gonna move the tanks down there. And one of the things that I'm gonna do, we have a plan for all of Lisa's fish. They're gonna go in tanks that we already have. But the big fish, the Africans, and the South American fish, where are they gonna go? Well, I'm gonna buy two 150 gallon tubs from Tractor Supply, and they're gonna go in those temporarily while we do the move, and then once the move is done, Lisa can use those tubs and do some summer tubbing out in the backyard. So you wanna go with me? I mean, you, I think Lisa's gonna go with me too. You wanna go with me to Tractor Supply? I don't usually do that kind of stuff on video, but why not? Let's do it. Buy her an iMac and now that's all she wants to do. Are you ready to go? Are you ready to go? Yeah, I'll put my shoes on. <laughs> what are they going to do with that? Not even in it. Yay! <laughs> I need one. Oh, look at those two. They're cuddling. <laughs> They're so cute. Now the obsession's gonna be chickens. I want a chicken. <laughs> Whoops. Well, that's not gonna work. So mission accomplished, uh, not exactly the way I expected it to though. I wanted to get two of the 150 gallon stock tanks. Uh, I paid for two of the 150s and then when we went to put them in the truck, the one was broken uh, beyond repair as far as I'm concerned. The guy said, well, you could take that and we could give you a discount. And I said, unless that discount is 100%, I ain't messing with it. And uh, he was like, yeah, well, we can't do that. I said, well, no, that's fine. 
I'll take the 150 and the 100 gallon and, uh, and that'll be fine. So uh, not exactly the way we had expected, but it's better than driving you know, 60 miles to the next place that sells these so that we can get two 150s. It's not a big deal. The 150 will actually house these fish and then the 100 gallon will serve these fish or the other way around. I don't know, we'll, we'll have to see how that goes. So these are gonna be temporary holding tanks for the fish that are in these two big tanks. And then once we're done with that, they'll basically be Lisa's to do whatever she wants to do with them out in the yard. Still plenty of year left to do some summer tubbing. Summer tubbing. Summer tubbing. Welcome to English, John. So at, I'm ex it's gonna be a lot of fun. I mean, it's not something we've ever done before, but we've wanted to do. So I'm excited to experiment with that a little bit and see what we can get going out there. So anyway, as I said, so much stuff gonna be going on here uh, over the next few weeks. I plan on documenting all of it and sharing it with you on videos. So if you're into this kind of stuff, if you like seeing project videos and stuff like that, you're gonna to wanna to subscribe to the channel because we've got a big one coming up. I mean, this is right here, this is like 1,400 pounds worth of aquariums when you put the two together and you take all the water out of them um, that we're gonna be moving down into our basement. So it's gonna be something that you're gonna to wanna to see. And for this one, I'm gonna to have to build a whole new stand for it because that stand that it's on won't fit through the door and I'm not taking my door down. So yeah, a lot is gonna be happening with this project and once we get them down there the project is only beginning because we're going to do a lot more customization and a lot of things so you're absolutely going to want to be subscribed to see all of that if you like these kind of videos so anyway thank you so much for watching i'm going to stop rambling because i got a lot of work to do we'll see you on the next video